So Apple Intelligence is now available and we have it installed on our device. As this morning, Apple released the developer beta of developer beta iOS 18.1, which gives us access to Apple Intelligence, not just on CarPlay. I'll talk more about why that's glitched in a little bit, but also on our iPhones. Hopefully the camera can pick that up. So yes, we are in the be developer beta stage. And as time again video, Apple Intelligence will only become available on the 15 Pro models, as well as the iPhone 16 Pros as well, as soon as they get launched next month. And the compatible devices for iOS 18 in general is if you have an iPhone 10s or newer, you're good. This also includes the second generation iPhone SE and the 10R. So let's talk about everything new for iOS 18 for CarPlay. As you may already notice, and just in case you missed my previous video, we received new wallpapers. And you can locate it in the settings right here and tap on wallpapers. These are the new ones you have to choose from. They're all basically the black theme right here. But if you go all the way down, previously we had like a gray and white one. Now it's just a solid black color as you see right there. But the cool thing about these light ones, if, if you select like a, the white one, the dark one as an example, and you select light mode in your appearance, I have mine set to always dark, it's daytime. If we set it to light, also a new animation text, but I'll cover that in a little bit. This is how that new wallpaper looks like. In my experience, it looks very similar to like the IMAX wallpapers, which I really do like. So. A lot of cool customization, but as you may have seen, uh, we did lose some wallpapers in case you haven't noticed because if we switched devices to a phone that I have with me right now that's currently connected to CarPlay. If we switch CarPlay devices from iOS 18 to 17, we'll go CarPlay and go on wallpapers. You'll see that this is the wallpaper that Apple removed, these default color ones, unfortunately. I believe it also removed this row too but that's the gray that I was telling you about earlier. With Apple Intelligence, as soon as you have it enabled on your main device, it's enabled on CarPlay, and even CarPlay has that border around it. Just for this vehicle, it's glitched, as I'm sure Apple is continuously making it supported on more cars. Right now, we are driving a Mercedes GLA AMG, and unfortunately, it's uh, only showing half the display, but it's a nice, cool little animation. Aside from the new homepage button, Siri was also updated and we'll also recognize voice commands as well. So aside from the new intelligence Siri animation, Siri also got a little bit better as well. As you can now request to show you the weather forecast. What's the weather in Seattle? It's currently cloudy and 63 degrees in Seattle, Washington. Temperatures will be fairly consistent, averaging about 64 degrees. As you see, the animation card is also different and now it gives us like an actual weather card animation where it shows us the high and low temperatures. You can also request it to do game scores. Show me the score of the last Kings game. Which sport? Hockey. The, the hockey. Kings lost the series, four games to one against the Oilers. So now we have this cool like score status of your favorite team if you request to see the latest score or the results. This new AI intelligence series is now bi bilingual. And then if you misplay something like with an air tag or something, you can always just say, Pin my wallet. Looking for wallet. It's nearby. Pinging wallet now. I need to replace the batteries, but it pins my wallet in the car, so if I'm having a hard time finding it, if it goes underneath the seat, you can always just do that. Then when receiving an incoming message, there's now a new animation because there's now a profile picture tied with that notification. And then when receiving a new phone call, incoming call, and we hit answer, yes, let me go ahead and mute this. If you quickly go pick up from your phone, there's now this new record phone call feature, which when you press, it'll start like a little timer, three second timer, letting the caller know that this phone call is being recorded. And if you look back on your iPhone device, it will show you the current time of the phone call recording log, and then you can pause it and it will send that information to your notes app on your main device, as you see right here. So unfortunately, you still need to physically grab your device to hit record if you like to record the phone call. You can't just do it off of here, unfortunately. Then as for the music album, if you notice, if you play music, the album artwork is a little bit bigger than before, but aside from everything else, CarPlay looks exactly the same in your music app. Even if you go into your settings and you decide to remove album artwork, the only new change here was the album artwork being a little bit bigger. Then as for settings, in case you missed my previous videos in the accessibility tab, you have color filters. So if you have a hard time seeing, you can enable some of these color filters. 
very useful, including if you're wearing like polarized sunglasses. That will also help too. You can also bold the text if you want to change the layout of your card play. If you have a hard time of seeing or reading, you can also do that. Voice control is pretty cool because as soon as voice control is enabled, this little icon will pop up on both your CarPlay head unit as well as on your iPhone. It will show up right here letting you know that the device is always listening for your voice commands. So by having this enabled, you could just request it to open up any app. So if I, so if I say open YouTube music, it will immediately like open that app. So long as I know the name and anything you see on the screen like your last play, your library, and your downloads my super mix you can either say press or tap so if i say tap library it'll just immediately do that it works pretty well open settings so that's how that works let's go ahead and disable that on the very bottom sound recognition by having sound recognition enabled the head unit and your device your mobile device your phone will constantly be on the lookout for car horns and sirens and whenever it detects one of these things in case you have a hard time of hearing or you're playing music very loud if you're unsure if you hear like a car horn or sirens nearby it will actually pop up a little notification letting you know that maybe sirens are nearby and you should be aware of what's going on type of thing so it's super useful if you again if you have a hard time of hearing so to demonstrate how that works in real time let me go ahead and play some siren sounds and it says maybe sirens right now so that's how the sound recognition works but moving out of here that's basically it for the accessibility side in Siri and suggestions notice how it has the new Siri intelligence icon when you click on here nothing has changed or got added here everything's pretty much standard another thing I almost forgot to cover is the silent mode which by having this enabled all your other Apple devices are paired to your phone like an Apple watch an iPad in case you have LTE built into it or something like that by having this enabled, as soon as you get in a vehicle and it detects that your account is being used by CarPlay, all your other devices are going to be turned off. They're not going to like alert you. Only your CarPlay head unit will alert you. This way, while you're driving, you only get the notification on your display, not on your other Apple devices, which is why I like having this enabled. Now, in terms of new features that's found in Apple Maps, unfortunately, there's no way to like pinch and zoom. As that all depends on the manufacturer head unit to support multi points so this one doesn't do that but you can still do the old method which is double tap and then just do this to zoom in and zoom out which I find it to be easier uh, some of the icons also been redesigned a little bit as there's more like 3d effects on like who was just doing a pigeon zoom there unlike certain icons like the movie theater we have here has like a and if you go and search and then you tap on the dictation it'll use, where do you want to go it'll use that new screen animation and it correlates to the vocal levels of your voice. Then another small change can be located in the podcast app because if you go into your library or your homepage, you see this downward facing arrow. That's just letting you know that that, that that is a podcast that has been installed on the podcast app on your device. So it's not gonna use LTE reception for you to listen to it and stream. As you'll go into library and then go into your downloads, you'll notice these all, all these podcasts have a little downward facing arrow. Again, letting you know that it's downloaded on your device. That's new, minor change right there. But other than that, that's a quick overview of the new Apple Intelligence and how it works, as well as all the new added features on iOS 18.1 coming out soon for iOS 18. And the official release should be sometime during September, usually around the fall time period when the launch of the next generation of iPhones, the iPhone 16s. So when that gets unveiled, that's usually the same week we should receive the full version of iOS 18 with all the bugs and issues fixed and the official features added. So my name was Eddie. Thank you so much for watching. Highly recommend checking out that video over there where I go through more in detail on all the new upcoming changes for iOS 18 for your iPhone. Thank you so much for watching.